Welcome to Yoga Basics 2, Structure and Energy. My name is Yasmin and I'll be guiding our practice. We'll begin sitting. I recommend Varasana or Hero's Pose, but you are also welcome to sit cross-legged or on a chair. For Varasana, you will need one or two blocks. Start on all fours and place the block or blocks between your feet. Position the blocks at the height you require. With toes pointing straight backwards and thighs parallel, lower your sitting bones to the prop and sit upright. If you feel discomfort in your feet, ankles, or knees, you may have to have more height under your hips or a folded blanket under your legs. Alternate nostril breathing, also known as Aloma Viloma and Nadi Shodhana. Begin with Gun Mudra, a little yoga posture for your left hand. Thumb and index fingertips touch, palms facing up. Left hand rests on the knee, sit tall. We'll use the right thumb and ring finger to alternate breathing through the right and left nostrils. When you're ready, block the right side of your nose with your thumb. Exhale completely through the left. Breathe in slowly, same side. Now block the nose and switch nostrils. Breathe out the right side. Stay here. Inhale. Block the nose, exhale slowly, left nostril. Inhale, left. Exhale, right side. Keep going at your own pace. If you're finding your sinuses are blocked, either on one side or both, you can use the other hand to stretch the skin on the bridge of the nose out to the side. This will help you open the sinuses and breathe better. Enjoy a natural flow of breath without forcing. Inhale through one side, switch and exhale through the other side. Long, slow, and as quiet as possible. Do one more cycle and we'll end with an exhalation through the right nostril. Slowly release your hand and do a few deep breaths. Position yourself in table pose, hands beneath your shoulders, hips over knees. Cat stretches, Marjarasana. If you need padding under your knees, fold the mat in the middle or use a blanket. As you inhale, arch your back for cat stretch, look forwards. As you exhale, round your back, looking towards your navel. Inhale, arch your back looking forwards, opening the chest, and exhale round. Continue at your own pace. Allow your breath to guide your movement. If your wrists are sore, you can do this sequence on your elbows or on your fists. On your next exhalation, tuck your toes under and lift your hips for downward facing dog. 
Again, feel free to bend your knees. Lengthen from your hands to your hips. Relax your head and neck. When you're ready, walk forward to the top of your mat. Lengthen your spine and exhale, fold. Bend your knees and press down through the four corners of your feet. Inhale, slowly come up. Extend the arms overhead. Then exhale, bring hands to heart. Soraya Namaskar A. Feeling your feet on the ground, micro bend your knees and inhale, raise your arms overhead for our first sun salutation. Maintain stability in your legs. Exhale, fold into Uttanasana. Inhale, lift lower abdomen and come up halfway, hands to shins. Lengthen the back of your neck. Exhale, bend the knees, place your hands on the ground and step back to plank pose. Let's stay in plank for two breaths. Create a solid structure with your body. Slowly bring your knees to the floor now. Lower down into chaturanga, elbows into ribs. Stop halfway, shoulders in line with elbows. Then come down onto your belly. Hands beside your chest, place your forehead on the floor. Extend the back of your neck, pulling your shoulders away from your ears. Reach your legs backward and press down through the tops of your feet. As you inhale, slowly lift head and chest simultaneously, coming up into cobra or baby cobra. Then release. Slide your elbows back. Using your forearms, lift your torso and bring your sitting bones to your heels for child's pose. Arms extended and active. Check the alignment of your hands. Make sure your fingers are pointing straight forward. If your shoulders feel tight, your fingers can fan out to the side about 10 degrees. Toes tucked under, lengthen from your hands to your hips. Then pressing down through the mounds of your index finger, transition into downward facing dog. Breathe deeply. Relax your head, but maintain a structure on the inside of the downward dog, lifting slightly under your armpits. You can keep your knees slightly bent. Then exhale completely, stabilizing your arms. Bend your knees, step, walk, or jump your feet forward to the top of your mat. Lengthen your spine, exhale, fold. Activating your legs, inhale, slowly rise to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Keeping your legs strong, inhale, raise your arms for number two. Knees soft, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands and step back into plank pose or half plank. Pause. Long spine, long neck. Breathe. Then bring the knees to the ground. Exhale, lower into chaturanga, pause. Shoulders no higher than the height of the elbows. Now press back up to plank. Shoulders over hands. Let your hips hang. Lift your chest, look forwards. Open your shoulders. Point your toes. This is half upward dog. Stay here or press down through the tops of the feet. Lift the knees for full upward dog. Your choice. On your next exhalation, knees to the floor, toes tuck under, shift back into child's pose. Then into downward dog. Relax your head, create space around the base of the neck.
Spread your fingers, press down through the knuckles of your hands. Extend from fingertips to sitting bones. Breathe. Bending your knees, step, walk, or jump your feet forward, landing with your hips above your knees. Lengthen and fold. Root your feet into the ground, then slowly rise up to standing. Take your arms overhead, look up at thumbs, and exhale, hands to heart. Keeping your legs strong, inhale, raise your arms for number two. Knees soft, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands, and step back into plank pose or half plank. Pause. Long spine, long neck. Breathe. Then bring the knees to the ground. Exhale, lower into chaturanga. Pause. Shoulders no higher than the height of the elbows. Now press back up to plank. Shoulders over hands. Let your hips hang. Lift your chest, look forwards. Open your shoulders. Point your toes. This is half upward dog. Stay here or press down through the tops of the feet. Lift the knees for full upward dog. Your choice. On your next exhalation, knees to the floor, toes tuck under, shift back into child's pose. Then into downward dog. Relax your head, create space around the base of the neck. Spread your fingers, press down through the knuckles of your hands. Extend from fingertips to sitting bones. Breathe. Bending your knees, step, walk, or jump your feet forward, landing with your hips above your knees. Lengthen and fold. Root your feet into the ground, then slowly rise up to standing. Take your arms overhead, look up at thumbs, and exhale, hands to heart. Dancer, Natarajasana. Begin in mountain pose. Slowly shift your weight into the four corners of your left foot. When you're ready, hold the outside of the right foot with the right hand. Press the foot into your palm. Resist the urge to take the right knee out to the side. It should stay in alignment with your shoulder and your hip. You're welcome to stay here, or you can extend your left arm overhead. As you press your right foot back, open the chest. To increase your challenge, Bring your left hand back and interlace your fingers over the top of your right foot. Then press your foot into your hand and open your chest. Breathe. On your next exhalation, slowly release your foot and come back to mountain pose. Other side, shift weight into the four corners of your right foot. Extend through the crown of your head. When you're ready, pick up the outside edge of your left foot. Press the foot into your hand and take your right arm overhead. Open the chest, shoulders should be at the same level. Foot presses back and the knee extends straight behind you. Again, if you'd like, Lower the right hand and hold the back of the foot, interlacing your fingers. Open your chest, lengthen your neck. Lift your collarbones. bones. 
Whenever you're ready, slowly release your leg and return to mountain. Let's do a vinyasa transition to seated postures. Pressing down through your feet, inhale, raise your arms. Bending your knees slightly, exhale, fold forward, relax your head. Inhale, hands to shins, come halfway up. Exhale, place your hands on the mat, step back to plank. From your knees or from your toes, slowly lower into chaturanga. Inhale for cobra, with your elbows bent, hips on the floor, or upward dog, arms straight, hips off the floor. Exhale, downward facing dog. From your downward dog, come forward to a seated position. Embryo pose, Garbha Pindasana. The next posture involves rolling backwards and forwards along your spine. I suggest extending a folded blanket along your mat for extra padding. Sit at the top of your mat. Cross your ankles, lift your knees. Make a little ball by rounding your back. Tuck chin to chest. When you're ready, begin rolling backwards and forwards. Roll back on each side of the spine. If this seems intimidating, lie on your back and just do gentle rocking on your spine. This posture circulates the energy or energy along the spine. It also massages the back muscles and helps relieve tension. Then come up and balance on the sacral muscles. Navasana. Spread your toes, lift your chest. Then exhale, cross your feet and ankles, lift. Bada Konasana, bounded angle pose. Slowly bring the soles of your feet together, separate your knees. You may want to sit on a block or a folded blanket for more leverage. Having your hips and knees in alignment helps you lengthen the spine and stretch your groin. Hold the big toes with your first two fingers. Grow tall. Then slowly fold forward. Nice, long back. Use your elbows to extend the knees out to the side. Breathe deeply. This posture helps to increase the flow of energy throughout your body. On your next inhalation, return to sitting. Then step back into downward dog. Walk out your legs. Stretch your feet. When you're ready, Come to a seated position. We'll finish our practice in Shavasana, the corpse pose. If you have socks or a long sleeve shirt, I recommend that you put them on. You may also want a blanket. When you're ready, you can slowly slide your hips forward. Lie on your back. If your lower back is sensitive, place a rolled blanket or a block underneath each thigh. You can also place a pillow under your head. Feet apart, arms slightly to the sides. Be sure that your limbs are not touching anything other than the floor, your mat, or your clothing. Rest and enjoy for as long as you can. Namaste.